What is this called? So let's try scanning from the book. So we'll Here's make it called? little. The app? The app. Having trouble getting it to recognize the right thing. Oh, and also the video is a little blurry. Yeah. But let's go over to the paper. So for this simple one here, 4x minus 3 equals 10. They'll think about it. You get the right answer. Let's go one down to a quadratic. 3x squared minus 8x minus 4 equals zero. We're trying to hold very steady. And nothing's happening. My hands are getting tired. Let's go over to use plain paper on that desk over there. Okay. And see Ooh, if okay. we can get it to solve some. So hopefully yeah, let's make problems. it big. One plus one equals it's having a hard time. Point out that Joe's handwriting is very clear and very nice. Maybe it'll do fractions. Because one plus one is a bit difficult. Fractions are easier than whole numbers. One half plus one third. Maybe it needs a variable. Let's pop down to this one. 2x, 2 plus x equals 2. I feel like it should be able to get this one. It got. Okay, I'm going to lean down so that I have a really steady hand for this last one. 3x minus 1 equals 8. Come on. x equals 3. x equals 3. And nothing. So, so far we're 1 for about 9 on handwritten problems. Let's try this book over here, which contains some pre-calculus problems. Okay. So, oh. so let's make the capture screen a little smaller so it doesn't accidentally get things we don't want. So we're going 2x squared equals 8x. I might have to make my box a little bit bigger. Let's see if this works. R equals 4. E equals 4. R equals 4. E equals 4. R equals 4. Is that right? 4x. Okay, let's be a little bigger. Oh. Well, I got that right away, so that's nice. Come on, you can solve it. What if you click steps? So it seems like it just... <laughs> You know, move the negative 9 over there and the 12t over here. Brilliant. <laughs> um, are there any other particular ones we want to try? Here, let's do the simple one. You have to be careful because sometimes it'll try to get that 19x squared. Uh, but even still, it oh, only brought the 19. 1. So let's make it a little smaller so we can capture just the problem we want. I have a feeling it'll just give us x squared minus 2x equals 1, though. Do you need to be wider? How about that? Come on, you can do it. I feel like oh, maybe I'm too wobbly or something, but it's it's hard not to be. It's not picking it up. 
Mm -hmm. And we're at five minutes, so I'll 